Greetings, people of the internet. This is Scott with CircWorks, and today is Fan Art Friday. Well, actually, actually, as I'm recording this, it's Thursday night, and I'm a little bit tired, but I have to get this thing recorded. I almost called it off, but um, yeah, I just want to, I just want to keep it up, you know. And uh, I've been, I was going to try to do it even earlier, but it just kept time kept slipping away. I've been working on. Um, uh, getting my booth ready for a comic convention. Um, I'll go back to that in a second. I guess I should tell everyone what I'm doing. I'm gonna. It seems kind of dark. I hope I don't hope this is. I hope this comes out. Or maybe I should see if I can change my turn my light around. I don't know. We'll see. Well, I'll I'll do what I can. You know. Um, but. Uh, this is another suggestion uh, by Jay Ferguson. He mentioned doing, uh, among other things, a Cylon. Uh, this is Cylon Centurion that I'm going to do. And uh, when he said that, I was like, oh yeah, this would be fun. Because honestly, this was like one of my favorite things to draw as a kid. I used to draw these guys all the time. Um, and I haven't really drawn one in a while, and I wanted to do, I, I want to do like a full body shot and, and really kind of, not reimagine them so much, but just kind of play around with the style, but I've got to, got to do something a little quicker. I just don't have time to invest that much time and to do it with everything that's going on this week, but I still wanted to take a crack at it, so... But yeah, I really do like this character. Obviously, this is from the the classic um, Battlestar Galactica um, from the seventies. So, which um, has its merits. I mean, I, I I really loved it as a kid, and it's still it's still fun to watch and everything. I mean, the you know the the latest version. Um, Battlestar Galactica, where they reimagined it. I mean, it was just an amazing show. I mean, really real well written and well acted. I mean, the whole the whole thing and just the changes they made and um, just really an awesome show. If you haven't seen it, even if you're not really a sci-fi fan, it's more if you like kind of like. I don't know, war movies, or, or, it's hard to explain, but it's not, I mean, they're, they took a way different approach, because they didn't, you, you don't ever see any, like, aliens or anything like that, it's all, and the Cylons, where in the original, I think that the Cylons were created by an alien race, I think they were, like, a reptilian race, um, but in the, you know, in the newer version, they were, um, obviously created, I believe, by man. Um, if I, it's been a while since I've seen it, but um, that that's something that could really deserve that really deserves like a rewatch from me, I think, because it really was a great show with a great ending, which usually isn't the case. A lot of a lot of shows that I watch, um, you know, get you get invested, and then then the ending just not happy with or or just the show goes like super downhill like Dexter was one of those where I really I you know I enjoyed it up until like the fourth fourth season and then after that it was it just yeah it just got worse and worse <laughs> in my opinion so um but a few shows you know Lost was another one that I was kind of let down with the ending obviously a lot of people were but um but yeah, as far as, you know, far as pretty much good all the way through and a really good ending, Battlestar is one of those, Battlestar Galactica. Um, but, but anyway, so yeah, when uh, Jay suggested this, I was like, uh, yeah, that's awesome, I gotta do this, so. 
I mean, who is a kid? <laughs> I, I, I shouldn't say that who is a kid because <laughs> if you grew up in a different, not everyone's my age, but if you're my age, uh, <laughs> I mean, who didn't stand in front of the, like a, like a oscillating fan and, and do the Cylon voice, you know, used to, you know, try to make Cylon costumes out of tin foil and tin foil, aluminum foil. I don't know why I say, I, I, I still say tinfoil, and I haven't made toy, foil out of tin, pro, probably, I don't even know if they did in my lifetime, but somewhere I picked that up, and I always call it tinfoil, but. But yeah, I might, depending on how much time, I might do a few different, you know, Battlestar Galactica characters here, so. But as far as as far as drawing and the you know, I think uh, I think the old series is a little more fun to draw you know, because there's aliens and stuff. There's no there's really no aliens or anything like that in the new series. It's all you know, all humans and and stuff like that. So, but but yeah, between you know. Obviously, and I think, you know, it, it used to kind of get the, the rap that it was kind of a Star Wars ripoff, but I, I don't I don't know if I'd really buy that. I mean, there might be some similarities, but it had its own, you know, it had its own theme, you know. It's this. I just like the idea of this search for these colonies that are searching to find their way home back to, back to Earth. Um, the, the the little piece that I'm using to test my or to wash off some of the paint on my um, on my brush is like it must have a glossy finish because it's not it's like not drying it's still wet so I got to try to be careful not to touch that you can't see that because it's off the side of the screen but. So, like I was saying before, uh, I've been getting ready for a comic convention, uh, Phoenix Fan Fest, and uh, so today I went fairly early and set up and everything, and I kind of, it was the first time I've really was able to take my time, because they gave, they gave pretty much a whole day to, uh, you know, from 7 o'clock in the morning to seven at night if you needed to set up your um, your booth and everything and, and typically they don't they don't usually give you that much time like at least with at Phoenix Comic Con so so that was cool um, so I just kind of took my time I wasn't rushed or anything like that I, I could have set it up a lot quicker than I did but like I said I just thought I'd take my time and do it right and I really <laughs> Probably spent way too much time with my prints, laying them out and getting them all even and everything like that. But, but I was happy with it. So, I'm really, really curious to see how this show does because it's like a brand new show. And uh, forgive me if this is dark. It's hard to, you know, hard to tell. Sometimes, like, because I'm just looking over at it through the the you know the the screen on my phone and it looks pretty dark but sometimes things look different like when you post them on when you bring them online and everything so i'm going to come back to this guy and oh you know what I'll do a little more. I lied. Pop this head out a little more than it is already. Probably come back to him and maybe throw some little, some marker color on it, you know. So let me wash. Let's make sure I don't get any dried ink on this brush and then I'll 
do some others here. Oops, now I got water there. That's not good. So I can just... All right. Okay, so here, let's see. I'm going to try to do like, uh, I don't know if you guys are, I just got ink on my hand from that, or I told you that that paper wasn't totally dry. I've got to get another thing here. I'm not going to use this anymore. Yeah, this is just, I cut up some poster boards. I was working on display, so I thought I'd, this would be a good, because it's heavy duty, you know. thought it'd be good for, uh, you know, dabbing my ink on, but it doesn't dry, so I'm not going to use that. Uh, let me see. Here, there's an old sketch card. I'll just use that. Anyway, so I'm right now. I'm going to do. Let's see. Uh, the Ovions, which were from the pilot. Um, I think it was the pilot. You know, the one thing I I don't remember. Um, I'd always watched Battlestar Galactica on TV. I don't, I don't think it ever had like a theatrical release, but I'm not positive that, you know, I just remember seeing it on TV and they had like TV, I guess a few movies and then they went on and did the series and everything. But these were those, those, uh, bug insect like creatures. And now that I'm looking at reference and drawing them, they're, <laughs> they're kind of similar to the, when I was doing the Star Wars, the uh, some of the the alien bounty hunters, they kind of have that insect look to them too. But yeah, these things kind of freaked me out when I was a kid when they met these guys because it was they kind of lured everyone in. Um, it was like a almost like a you know Pinocchio where they had. Uh, um, Pleasure Island, where they they offer them all kinds of things. They had gambling and you know dancing girls and all that kind of stuff, and then get them all liquored up and <laughs> then then uh, cocoon them so they could eat them. This is even be, that was even before V, if you remember that. That was similar <laughs> to the plot of V, but. Um, But anyway, yeah, these guys always freak me out. And a lot of these guys I had like the action figures of and everything, which I remember <laughs> as I was, you know, I collect Star Wars figures and I told my mom I wanted the Battlestar Galacticas and at first, first she didn't want to get them because I think she thought that they weren't, that they were a little cheap or something because like the... <laughs> Like the human characters, they didn't bother to paint their eyeballs in. <laughs> so they were just like white, you know, that whatever their, you know, just their face color. And then, <laughs> the, you know, their their eyes were the same color as their face and they didn't paint any of them in. So I guess she thought that that was cheap. And But anyway, so eventually I did get some of <laughs> them. So, so here we go. Here's our little Obion guy. Let's see, maybe I'll do a little more detail right there. Yeah, I keep I keep jumping back as far as topics. And again, it's kind of it's it's late and I want to get this thing done. And so this might not be the best show, but um, I'm gonna while I got my pencil out, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll do the Muffet guy, which is the little dog character. They call them Daggett's in, in the Battlestar Galactica universe. I don't know. It's weird. It kind of, you know, some stuff kind of throws you off. Like, they, their increments of time were, like, weird. Like, they'd have, like, sectons and, and weird things instead of seconds and things like that. So, you know, I guess it makes it more spacey, you know. And obviously, they're... <laughs> Their curses were different. They would say frack and all that stuff, but but yeah, it's just kind of weird. And I don't, I can't remember if they, I don't know if when they remade it, if they if they called the like the time, if they called them centons or sectons or yarons or whatever. Um, I don't remember what they did with the new one. Like I said, it's something I should really rewatch. 
Jesus. But this, anyway, this is this is what, I, like, I'm spoiler alert for something that's you know 40 years old. But <laughs> um, yeah, so the kid, uh, I think Boxy was his name. He uh, he had a dog, and the dog got killed in like one of the Cylon attacks, and so they replaced it with this robot dog. It was actually, I believe, it was played by a a chimpanzee. It was in the put a chimpanzee in the costume. And, but anyway, so yeah, this is Muff. Actually, it's Muffet Two, I believe, because the original Muffet was the name of his dog. So his name is Muffet Two. So I'll ink these guys. Oops. But yeah, so I had that action figure too. And uh, I also, they didn't make, like, it was weird the, the characters they decided to make. They never made the little boy boxy, which I can, I guess I can understand that. But I had the, I used to collect these little figures by Fisher Price called Adventure People. And they were just like, you know, they had like firemen and they had, you know, camping guys. And it was really, you know, those came out, those were like, I think they came out before Star Wars figures actually. And it was the same scale as the Star Wars figures and most of the popular figures of that time. But I think it was probably the first true action figure, these Fisher Price guys. And I used to dig those. I mean, they had all, you know, I still have some of them, but they're in pretty bad shape. I was thinking about, I, for a while, I was watching some stuff on people that were collecting them, getting them on eBay, and they're not terribly expensive because they just don't. You know, I remember them fondly, but fondly, but most people don't remember them, and they're not super highly sought after collectibles. So you can usually find them pretty inexpensively. And later, they would make like space guys and stuff, and they had some really cool sets though. But there was a little kid. And he had a little blue jumpsuit, and I always pretended that he was the boxy character. Because we had the, you know, the Muffet action figure. So, but yeah, they the action figures they chose to make, they never made Apollo, which was like one of the main guys. They made Starbuck, but they never made Apollo. They never made, you know, any, like one in the, you know, I always thought the, the helmets and the like the when the the viper pilots and stuff were cool looking but they never made action figures in, in any of those outfits or anything so and i think like the adama uh who's the leader and uh and starbuck i think they were pretty much from the same mold just painted differently so but that's the way it was back then i'm sure this is all exciting i'm just you know <laughs> trying to think of stuff to talk to th talk about when I draw and um <laughs> and sometimes I reminisce about uh, when I was a kid so <laughs> but yeah my my brother he had the the stuffed animal of this guy which is pretty cool Yeah, I gotta, don't know how much time I've got here. I don't know how many of these I'll have time to, to color. But, yeah, these little kind of headshots are, you know, I do these a little quicker and it doesn't take as much time. But I'd like to go back to doing maybe next, next Friday. I'll go back and maybe make, uh, you know, do something a little more involved. I still like, you know, I, I want to keep these all at about an hour. And even that, I you know, it's kind of long for a YouTube video. But I don't know, that's kind of what this is. I might start doing different ones that are sped up or whatever. I keep talking about that. And I never haven't done it. <laughs> so I've just got just a little busy. All right. some outlining here kind of thicken this up
but yeah, let, I always mention this, and there's still a few that a uh, few requests that I haven't got to. But uh, if you have other requests, uh, let me know. You know. I thought about bringing some of these to the convention with me, these little sketch cards, but yeah, I don't know. I, I've got some other like original art pieces and fan art and stuff that I, I brought just that people can flip through and sometimes they sell all right, but I don't really have a lot of them, so I guess I didn't want to throw just a few in there. The sketch cards anyway. Maybe as I start to do more, I'll bring them with me. To me, these are just for fun, you know. But Man, it really does seem like it's uh, dark. And it could, well... It shouldn't make that much. Maybe it makes it because right now it's nighttime, so I don't have the sunlight coming in. But the window, there's a window in back of me. It brings out a lot of light, but I don't think it would make that much difference when, when I've got other lights on the house on. So, but yeah, I don't know. But uh, so back to the convention. Uh, I'm really curious how tomorrow will go, because it's uh, they didn't they didn't really give a lot of. Uh, I mean, the first I ever heard of this show was probably about three months ago, and they put it together pretty damn quick. But they, uh, you know, it's it's by the same people that did Phoenix Comic Con, so they, you know, they've got a pretty good track record. But it's in a, you know, the. Cardinals football stadium, which is really interesting. Um, I've never, I'm not a big football fan, so I've never actually, never actually been there. But like, so I pulled in, you know, when you go to, to set up, you go in the back, um, you know, the, the back entrance, you know, where did they got the big gates and they bring everything in and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I parked there and I'm, I'm, like right in front of where I park, there's this big giant grassy field. And I'm like, I wonder what that is. What's that for? Is that like a practice field? Because it was huge. You know, there's people walking on it. It's grass and it's kind of raised up and everything. And uh, what I realized is what it is, is it's, they, it's, it's the actual playing field. They, it's, it's on like a track and they just roll it out, roll the whole whole grass playing field out and then roll it back in when they're doing a game so when you walk in there you can kind of see on the ground there's kind of guides for where the track goes but it's interesting and yeah it's just a different venue for a comic convention it's uh it's it's like huge for one i mean the ceiling is just you know hundreds of feet up you know and then you know there's all the you know obviously all the the stadium seating all around, which I don't think that will be open for this thing. But anyway, there's there's Muppet guy, Muppet Muffet. <laughs> I got I guess I got Muppets on the mind because uh, I don't know if you saw the post. Uh, Jay Ferguson, who also um, requested this, you know, the the Cylon Centurions. Um, I got a really cool. Um, piece from him and uh of uh jim henson which i just i can't even begin to describe how awesome it was when i opened it you know or just i was i guess i was not really expecting how awesome it would be and i'm just really super thrilled i can't wait to i've got to find a um find a frame for it and everything and but, uh, yeah, it's just a beautiful piece of artwork. And if you haven't checked him out, you are doing yourself a disservice. Uh, I don't, I'm trying, I'll, I'll put a link if I can remember, like it's late, so, but I'll put a link to his, uh, his YouTube channel. But 
don't know if it's Airhead. His company's Airheads, and he's Jay Ferguson, so you can probably find him if you search those. But if I happen to forget to put the put his YouTube channel on here, but man, I mean, his he's an airbrush artist, does a lot of portraits and among other things. But it just his work blows me away. So you should really check out his videos and he does process videos like this you know where he talks and does airbrush and it's really should check it out I like I like I guess I like drawing these insect bug guys. I had fun when I was doing the Star Wars bounty hunter guys too, so But I don't know how many people that watch these watch them on the day of as I post them or how many people actually happen to be in, you know, in Arizona. But, uh, if you happen to be in, if you happen to be going to fan fest, uh, come seek me out. My booth is, uh, what was it? Eight. Oh, a eight twenty five. A is in the letter eight and then eight twenty five. And I just got an artist alley table this time cause it was a new show. So I didn't, really know if I should invest in the, a booth but I was able to get all my products and everything I I don't know if you guys saw I posted some other videos of me working on my 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 table display and all that kind of stuff and I'm happy with the way it turned out so just have to see how it goes you know Yeah, I'm kind of going off of very little sleep. Yesterday I was doing a a Skype chat with some other artists and I was up a little late. And then it was funny because somebody brought up the conversation of sleeping habits and not being able to sleep. And usually I go sleep right away. And of course, the one day that I, I mentioned that I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I feel sorry for you guys. I can fall asleep just like that, which usually I can, but. Yesterday, I had a rough time falling asleep, but I don't know if it was just because I was, you know, worried about the setup for this thing or whatever, but yeah, I had a hell of a time falling asleep, and then then once I did, I got woke up by my girlfriend who wasn't feeling good, and so, yeah, but uh, so, and then I woke up early, you know, I was... I probably didn't fall asleep till, I don't know, probably a little after 1, and then I woke up around 6, well, maybe 6.30, maybe 7 at the latest, but, because I had to go, you know, set up and all that stuff, but, so hopefully, as I'm yawning, because, <laughs> all right, what time is it right now? Yeah, here it's, yeah, it's 11, it's not too late, but I'm still, I'm, I'm winding down, so... <laughs> But I want to get this up and, you know, so I can go do that show. Okay, there's the Ovion guy. So we're about, uh, yeah, I think we're doing all right on time. Um, i got to bust out the Copic markers. I almost thought of bringing some of those with me to the show and do sketches. But lately I've, you know, and it, it kind of depends on the traffic too, but... As far as traffic around the booth and 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 the the uh, what do you call it the convention in general, um, what was I saying? But hold on, I'm just trying to get situated. Uh, what was I saying? 
Oh yeah. Uh, as far yeah, I used to do like sketches and stuff like that, but now I kind of like to because when you do sketches, the problem is your head's down and you're not seeing the people wa walking across and you're not really interacting. You could you know miss people that might be interested in what you're doing or whatever. So lately, I've been uh, I've been you know even not even usually sitting down, but just standing up and watching as people go by and if their eyes go to the table you know say hi and if they feel like they want to interact and do all that stuff but but it's hard to do when your head's down you know but there's you know there's different ways to look at it i guess i know like uh i don't know if you guys are familiar with travis hansen he's another guy that does a lot of shows and a lot of a lot of his own creator own stuff and He's got that comic, uh, The Bean, and some other stuff too. But uh, he does like free sketches at shows. I mean, they're the sketches he does for free are a little more simple than a lot of his other stuff. Or if you commission him, but it's amazing that he, you know, he does all those. But yeah, he's. But that's kind of his thing. Everyone's kind of got their thing, and his is the the free sketches. So. And I'm wondering how many people, you know, probably, I'm sure most of the people probably give him a tip or something, whether he accepts it, I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, but yeah, I used to, you know, I'd have people come by and ask me to do a, you know, commission or something. I used to do it, but yeah, I don't know if I'll, I'll do that. If I'm, I'll probably ring my art supplies just in case. And if it's like super, you know, if it's not busy or whatever, which hopefully that won't be the case, um, then I can, you know, do that. But we'll see. You know what we gotta do now. The thing that makes these guys super cool. That red eye. I don't know if I don't know if you too much red if I do red in the background. I don't care, I'm gonna do it anyway. And that's that is really one of the things that makes the, the Cylon Centurions really cool. It's funny, yeah, because you can, it's, you know, in the comparison to like Star Wars and everything, I mean, you look at like, say, Darth Vader or whatever, and obviously he's, you know, the design is influenced from like samurais and stuff, whereas you can, from the, the Centurions, you can definitely see like a Roman, uh, you know, that kind of Roman gladiator uh, with the, you know, or the Spartans or whatever. I'm trying to remember all the different ones, but the ones with the the little, <laughs> it looks like, it looks like that upside down broom, or if you've seen like Marvin the Martin, Martian where he's got that, that thing on his head. I don't know what you call that, but, ooh, my battery. I just got a 20% battery uh, warning, so hopefully that's not going to be a problem. I think I can get some done. So anyway, there's the Centurion. Let's do the Obion guy. Let's see what color greens I got here. That's a good kind of mossy type color green. It's a little darker. This one's super dark. Oh, maybe not. Oh, those two colors work good. It's weird. Sometimes you can't tell from the caps. Um, Let's see what this one is. Yeah, I think these three will work good. So, all right. These creepy guys. Oh, the other one I was thinking about doing. Um, well, I don't have time to do it now, but like the Imperious Leader, who is the the leader of the Cylons <laughs> I don't know man he's kind of it's a really kind of weird character design and which is fine for the the TV show because you don't really see him you usually only see him from the back 
But then they went and made like action figures and everything. And I don't know, he's kind of got this weird thing going on, like around his head. It looks like, it looks kind of, kind of like a, this huge afro, but it's, it's almost like really super shiny, like a jerry curl. <laughs> and he's like an alien guy, and he just does not look, if you like Google him, you'll see, he does not look threatening. But I don't, see, I don't know if that was supposed to be hair, because I've seen some pictures where I think it's, I think it was actually supposed to be part of his, like, a hood that kind of goes in back of him because I think it's his face is just more re like reptilian like I said because I think the uh, I think the Cylons were supposed to be uh, originally like this reptilian race that wanted to exterminate the humans um, but but yeah this uh, so but when they guess when they made the action figure it was you know it was just kind of weird it was like this big giant crest of hair like you have to like google the action figure too because it's just crazy but like i said definitely not threatening but the way it was used in the film since they didn't really show him only from the back and everything and and the voice they use is kind of a uh, i don't remember who did the voice but it it didn't have any kind of like an alien or reptilian affect to it. It was just kind of a, you know, a regular guy's voice. It wasn't like a bad voice. I mean, as far as like the voice is good, like somebody who would do like voice actor work or whatever, or, you know, but it just wasn't, you know, it's kind of an odd choice. Which I hear that they are going to do a another revamp of Battlestar Galactica, which... And it's supposed to be different from both the, you know, the TV show and, um, I mean, both TV shows, the newer one and the original, which is cool because I think they can just, I think the core concept and everything is, is solid enough that they can, you know, run with it. Because I remember when they when they first announced that they were redoing it the second time and they were talking about how they were they were going to change like you know the races and the sexes of of different and you know, genders and things like that of different characters and some people were all up in arms but you know i think they made some really cool choices going that direction And they've got big kind of orange eyes that glow. Usually when you see these guys like in the in the TV movies, they uh, it's pretty dark. You don't really, which I like, you know, again, it's the same thing with the Imperious Leader guy. They kind of keep them in shadow so you don't really see them too well, which really adds obviously to the illusions. A lot of times with creatures and things like that, less is more. I mean, that's definitely like the case with like the original Alien, where if they didn't make all the, you know, if you didn't see all the, you know, the to the the toys, which that's another weird thing. Like, I always thought it was odd that they made toys of Alien when it was like a rated R movie, but they they had toy a toy line for it. But yeah, I mean, in the movie you could hardly make out exactly what what it was, you know, what it looked like, because it was always in shadow which I think is highly effective. You know, I'm, I'm a big proponent of less is more when it comes to stuff like that. Okay, so let's see. What uh, color should I use? I guess I can go orange on this guy too, but um, I was hoping I have a, a lighter orange than this, but this is probably the lightest that I have, so... And go back in with my uh, little white pen and pop these out a little more. Oh, I didn't sign my name on any of these. I guess I'll have to go back and do that too. All right. So we got two down for the most part. I'll go do my name and put the little put some white highlights in it. And uh, let's see. So what do we got as far as browns here? 
Browns. I like that one. That'll work. Yeah, all three of those will work. Usually, usually the tones don't always match up good for shading and everything, but I think this one will. So yeah, I'd like to, I, I kind of like if they redo, when they do this new version, assuming, you know, it's, I heard one thing, you know, that Universal is, is going to be doing this and they've got some director and stuff attached and all that kind of stuff, but that doesn't always mean anything. Things kind of fall apart or whatever, but if they do, you know, reimagine it, I'd like to, I kind of like to see another take with kind of, with, you know, more with the aliens and stuff because... As great as the, you know, the remake was, I kind of wanted to see how they how they could, you know, work with some of the other characters and some of the other mythology and stuff that we got to see in the original television series. Yeah, it's kind of fun to draw. Yeah, when the action figure came out, it's they uh, sometimes and they did this a few things with some of the Star Wars uh, figures, um, where they re would release it, and people weren't really happy with the color choices, because when this guy came out, it was almost like a really like a cream, like a peach color. The action figure. And so they reissued it with a little, you know, closer to the actual color that he is in the show. And uh, and maybe it's a marketing ploy because stupid kids like me would, would want both of them. <laughs> so... So yeah, he's got, you know, he's made of metal and fur, so he's got, he was metal around his eyes and stuff. Yeah, this is fun. This might not be, you know, it's, it's, you know, when I do, and I try not to concentrate too much on what's popular and what's not when I do these things. I mean... Like if I, I think when I did the Doctor Who, I got lots of hits. And there's certain things that just fans go crazy over. You know, this probably, you know, because some people might find this just with the search, with the hashtag search or something like that. But I don't know how many people are searching for like classic Battlestar Galactica sketches or whatever. <laughs> but this is fun for me because I, you know. Like I said, I really enjoyed drawing Battlestar Galactica when I was a kid. I used to, man, I would draw like Vipers and, you know, Cylon Raiders and all this, you know, having battles and uh, it was just crazy. Um, so let's see, what color should I do background on this guy? Thinking of green, no, maybe. Let's see this color, this kind of purplish pink color, like a mauve. How do you pronounce that? Mauve, mauve. Yeah, that'll work. I used to. I remember when Battlestar Galactica was out. We used to do these. These. Uh, we draw like we make these tattoos and basically they're just you know we draw on you know we'd use pencil and we draw on paper and uh and then we we'd lick our arm and we'd stick the stick the paper on our arm and hold it there and it would transfer over 
that I always would do for whatever reason. I don't know. I don't know why I thought Battlestar Galacticas would make good tattoos, but I made, you know, all the vipers and stuff like that. These little temporary tattoos. Anyway, uh, okay, let's see. You gotta sign my name on these things. I didn't leave much room. Getting close. Not too many more of these are gonna say 14 on them. I'll probably make a few mistakes in the new year and keep signing 14. this off get my white pen and we're under an hour so got three cards done that's not too bad some people might like these more because there's more to the process where I actually draw a little bit instead of just inking you know add a little color to them and all that so I'll probably do some more of these, but I do like doing like full body shots and, and you know, cool poses and stuff like that. So, gotta find my white. Oh, there's my white pen. I keep wondering if this is gonna, I think I mentioned that last time. I'm wondering if, when this is gonna run out because so far it's still got ink to it. I'm at 10% battery, so this thing, I was worried about that when I started, but looks like I'll be able to make it now, if my, because really my phone only has enough memory right now. All right, well, what a coincidence that the minute I start talking about uh running out of space on my phone that it cuts out on me um, so anyway I had to upload that video but I went ahead just to clear uh, clear the space off my phone uh, which is weird because my my old phone I didn't have a problem with running out of memory and uh, I don't know if it's because the camera on the new phone is is you know takes better quality pictures or whatever but uh, yeah I don't know anyway yeah because it's the same amount of same amount of gigs but anyway, uh, so I went ahead and, and finished these uh, cards up, and uh, so that's probably about it for today. i got to get ready for the uh, Phoenix Fan Fest convention. Again, if you happen to be in uh, Phoenix uh, this weekend, uh, today through, uh, today meaning Friday, um, uh, through Sunday, which, uh, <laughs> let's see, December 12th through the 14th, if you're in the Phoenix area, and you're planning on checking out some cool stuff come come out and and uh, visit me and say hi i'm at booth uh, or table a825 and uh, you should be able to notice it <laughs> anyway um thanks again for subscribing thanks for liking thanks for commenting and send me those suggestions on what you want me to see what you want me to tackle on future fan art friday videos but until then i gotta go so uh, that is all Point out, 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 point out,